Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So today I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be making French dips again. But I'm gonna go ahead and make it in the Instapot Rio. Um, my neighbor, um, she had come over that later that night and she tasted some and she says, well next time you make some, let me know when she's coming over. So she'll come over for dinner tonight. And then Heinz is here, Jack's here, Mark and I is here. So um, we're making a little bit extra than what I normally would have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be making two of the roasts, which would have been one big roast. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get that done up here. I did start my Instapot on saute so it can start to actually get that browned before I throw everything in. And um, I have my homemade um, sauce or spice here. It's like a paprika blend that has like paprika and the, um, garlic, salt, pepper and that sort of thing. So I'll be putting some of that on there. If I can get the lid off there, I have to rewash that lid. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here and show you what I'm doing. And as you can see, there's the two, the two roasts. And what I'll be doing is putting the spice all the way on here and rubbing this in on all the, all of the sides. Now this did turn out okay last time, so this is the way I made it last time. I actually had to watch my own video to uh, figure out exactly what I did because it was a little bit ago. So go ahead and put the more spices on there and blend that in. I'm going to try to get some on the sides here too. I guess I could probably just put it on the container like that and get that going. That might be easier. Just put some on the on the plastic for the sides. All right. And go ahead and take off my glove. Go ahead and put in the olive oil and go ahead and get that in there so I can start to brown the roasts here. It's heavy. I must have missed the beep part. I'll just have to wash my hands here. Where it said it was hot. Because usually it tells you that it's hot when it's ready to go. But I must not have actually saw that. again. So what we'll be doing is um, browning that meat like on all four sides of this. So that's going to take just a little bit of time to do. Um, I'm going to clean up my countertop real quick. I'll bring it right back. We'll go ahead and flip these. I have the mandolin out to go ahead and cut up the onion, and we'll get this all ready. All right, got a bigger tong, so it might be easier to flip it than on the small one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on its side for a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and flip that more here. But meanwhile, I'll go ahead and slice up some onion here. It's very important when you use your mandolin that you use the, the holder, because otherwise you will... Slice your hand that I've been known to do. And that makes such ease of slicing everything. I'm going to go ahead and break this up a little bit. Now obviously this takes a minute to get, go ahead and get all this sauteed up. But I guess it's supposed to taste even that much better when done. Go on another side. And then I have my, I guess this out of the way. I have some of my Aju sauce. And you're supposed to mix this with the three cups of cold water. So 
I have that there. Now, I did find some when I did this last. Some of them had beer, some of them didn't have beer. So I'm taking one of Mark's beers and throwing it in there because that did, it did taste like beer. And we all liked it. So we'll go ahead and do that again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let this saute a little bit here. So I'm not going to sit there and bore you. And I'll bring back uh, to go ahead and throw everything else in here. All right, so I see the little bits on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull out both of the rolls real quick. And I probably could have browned these a little bit more, but I'm trying to get a few things done here. So I'm going to go ahead and raise you up so you can physically see what's going on in there. Hopefully the noise doesn't cut out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the aju. And go ahead and throw in the can of beer. And then what I'm going to do is take my wooden spoon and kind of go along the bottom and get any of those bits that's down there. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and get this canceled, put this on slow cook and start. I'm going to get all those bits off the bottom. I don't think with slow cook, I don't think it would give me like an error like it would if you were to use this. Um, if you were to cook this on the Instant Pot with those bits on there, it would for sure give you the burn notice. Anyone who's had an Instant Pot for any length of time knows they've gotten at least one burn notice in their life. <laughs> Not the funnest things when you're trying to get dinner cooked. So there's a little bit of stuff right there. And you can see it kind of like the little pieces that come up in there. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this meat back in here. Big mess. Put that meat in there and then go ahead and throw those onions in here. And of course that beer got spread around in there too so that's good. So put those onions down in the liquid. I'll come out here every time when I come out to the kitchen. I will uh, like flip this and everything. So that's what it's looking like right now. I am going to have to kind of clean this up a little bit before I put the lid on because that's going to be a heck of a mess letting it sit in there and dry. And if you guys wonder, no, I don't like dirty um, <laughs> gadgets. It kind of gets on my nerves. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the lid on. Um, the lid will actually be down below in the um, pinned comments where I did get this from, Amazon. And of course, you know, everybody knows that you can get the, the Instant Pot pretty much anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go for right now. And I will be back um, at dinner time and show you the next steps. All right, friends, so this is done. And what we're gonna do is pull this out and go ahead and get this kind of like shredded up. So Mark's gonna grab a plate and we'll get that, get that shredded and I'll show you. All right, so Mark's getting this shredded a little bit here. Kim is on her way over. And then we're just gonna get out some um, potato chips and we're not gonna have like a side. I was gonna make some asparagus, but I thought, no, not probably with a sandwich like this. It probably wouldn't work right. So we're just gonna have some chips and uh, we'll show you what the sandwich looks like when it gets done here. For you. Awesome. All, right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put this on some of my sandwich here. Everybody will make their own sandwich. Mark's just being nice to me here. We'll spread this out just a little bit. And then I made the little containers of adieu. Just a little bit more meat here. Well, for me. help yourself. So this right here well, is a French dip yet. and yeah. um, made in the Instant Pot Reel. So this is dinner tonight. And everybody will have their piece of how much they want. And there's enough for seconds if everybody wants any. So thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.